So welcome to the second video in the vector component of the mechanics course. In this video, we'll be introducing vector notation and in particular, the unit vector notation. So a vector is written with three components, the vector name, the magnitude and the direction. The vector name you can see written in a number of different ways, but it will usually be one of the three shown. So either with a right hand pointing arrow, with a tilde underneath, or some combination of bold, italicized, and underlined. In this course, I will always write, write the vector using um, a right-hand arrow, except in a few rare cases where my word processor objects, and then you will see it written as a bold, italicized letter. The vector magnitude is an absolute value, so it's always positive. Uh, as such, it's written using either the absolute value notation or just as plain text, I will always use the absolute value notation just because I personally find that to be a little bit clearer. And the final component uh, of the vector notation is the direction. And to write the vector direction, we very often use something called a unit vector. So a unit vector is a vector with just a magnitude of one and a direction, and it's unitless. So the magnitude is not one centimeter or one millimeter, it's just one. Uh, and it's always written um, as the letter with a hat over the top of it to distinguish it from the vector name. We have three standard unit vectors, one for each dimension in three-dimensional space. So here we have our standard Cartesian coordinate system with the three axes, with our horizontal axis, vertical and depth. And our unit vectors we use to describe them. We use an i unit vector for the x direction, j for the y direction, and k for the z direction. These unit vectors are written with reference to the origin. Uh, and it should, I should also point out that in this diagram, I've only shown the positive directions. Negative x direction is written using negative i. Negative y is negative j. And negative z is negative k. So as an example, we have here our vector r. Uh, we can see the vector name is r. And we can read off the diagram that the vector has a length of 4, so a magnitude of 4 and it's pointing in the positive z direction. So its unit vector is k. So we would write our vector then as r equals 4k. And in the following video, we'll start to look at some more complex um, 2 and 3D examples. 